I want to continue actually George's theme and talk about the importance of uh, community support um, and the fact that we have this celebration dinner thinking about the name celebration. I believe what we're celebrating tonight is really community support. And we have uh, um, one segment of that that uh, it's going to be my pleasure to introduce, and that is uh, introduction of employers uh, in Boulder, Brookfield County, that work very diligently to employ folks with cognitive disabilities. It's going to be a real pleasure to introduce those folks. But first, I want to uh, provide a little bit of background. Labor Source is a department within Imagine that for the past 30 years, and we are on an anniversary year, for 30 years Imagine has been working hard to find employment matches and integrating that into various businesses in our community. Uh, Tom Riley is here tonight. Tom has been with Imagine for I think 18 years, Tom, and uh, really runs that, has a wonderful understanding and develop great relationships in the, in the community. I think the number uh, is 41 people from Imagine uh, have jobs in the community as a result of the work that Imagine's uh, labor source organization uh, does. So uh, Tom, could you stand up please and be recognized? <clears throat> Now, Tom could regale us with an hour's worth of stories about uh, great uh, contributions and employment situations and really uh, creating meaningful work, and we all know how important that is for folks with, with disabilities, but uh, we don't have an hour, so I'm going to acknowledge uh, the extraordinary uh, effort, uh, really above and beyond, by four employers uh, that are here uh, tonight, we're really honored to have them uh, join. Yes. When folks at this table employ 41 people, Core Labor, Lord Labor Source employs 125. Pardon me. Thank you, Tom. My memory doesn't serve me very well. Tom, for those of you that couldn't hear, Tom was reminding me that the four employers employ 41 people, that in total it's 125. So thank you, Tom, for clarifying. Continuing on, we all know and love the, the sink, um, but I'd like to introduce uh, Mark and Tiffany Heinrich, that are owners of the sink. Could you please stand? Thanks for joining us tonight. Uh, Eric Wallace uh, and his wife, uh, Cynthia, are here from Left Hand Brewing. Eric? Tom Fletcher is here from Celestial. Would you please stand, Tim? And Bob Bale and his wife, Alexis, are here from Twisted Pine. Please stand. I really, I really can't say enough about that. The, the, you know, the, the theme is about community support and, and the employment piece is so, so important. I assure you these folks have gone to a lot of effort to incorporate uh, disabled individuals in their organizations and, and when I had a chance to talk earlier, uh, the feedback is really that it's a win-win, which is just, just wonderful. I want to continue the conversation about the importance of community support for a, a couple of minutes. I feel really lucky to live here. I have a, a couple of examples in, in, uh, in mind that I want to share. Uh, quickly with you. Uh, my youngest daughter, Carrie, has cognitive disabilities and received services from uh, Imagine. And by the way, uh, I can't believe this, but she's going to be 28 in a few weeks. So I want you to picture for a moment that Carrie and I are walking the aisles of King Supers, uh, shopping for Cheerios and some other stuff, and we hear somebody say, Hi, how you doing? And when I look up, 90% of the time, they're not talking to Walt, they're talking to Carrie. They're saying, hi, Carrie. And I can tell you, as a father, that it's wonderful to have that kind of community support, uh, recognizing uh, and, uh, and treating 
your daughter with dignity and respect. It's wonderful. And I have another quick story. I was talking to an imagined employee and care provider recently, and he told me about an experience that he had last week. Uh, he was riding the bus. He was riding the bus with two of his clients, two men that are receiving services from Imagine. Uh, they get on. They get on a bus. Uh, the three of them are sitting on the side of the bus, on the bench seats facing the aisle. And after uh, a couple of stops, a mother and her young daughter get on the, on the bus and they sit opposite the three guys from Imagine. And uh, after uh, a, couple of, a couple of minutes, uh, the, young, uh, the young lady whispers to her mom, I'm I'm concerned those those uh, uh, those men just don't look don't look happy, and this mother uh, didn't pull back from the situation at all. She said, "Well, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's true. Uh, let's ask him." And she proceeded to say hi to the to the group of three. How how are you doing? And it kicked off a. Uh, an exchange, a friendly exchange that we're all very, uh, very familiar with. Uh, unfortunately, not always for people with disabilities in our community, but it was a great exchange. Of course, this isn't really earth shattering, but this mom set uh, a, a great example. She didn't pull back from what I'm guessing could have been an uncomfortable situation. Instead, this mother leaned in to the situation and created an opportunity for a, a, a nice, friendly, mutual exchange, a respectful exchange. All the parties benefited from this in this situation. I'm sure the mom and the daughter got off the bus that day feeling positive that they had uh, had a, an interaction in the way that they did. I'm sure that the, the little girl actually had an invaluable lesson in embracing diversity the two, the two imagined clients felt good. They had been treated in a friendly and respectful way. And the imagined caregiver, and by the way, imagined caregivers don't have easy jobs. He was delighted. He, he got to watch this exchange and his clients being treated in a respectful manner, um, in the spirit of, of uh, really accepting uh, diversity. And it was just an overall great experience, and so much so that he told me about it. So, I go through and I tell you this story. Um, I tell you this story as a reminder, there are many ways, <clears throat> there are many ways to exhibit community support. And I encourage you, encourage each of you to lean in when you have the opportunity. So thanks for listening to those stories. I do think that uh, community support is something that's just uh, remarkable uh, in our uh, Boulder and Broomfield counties. The switching, of course, of course, tonight's about fundraising for Imagine, which is very, very important, as George indicated, and it's a very important aspect of community support. And I assure you that your donations really do make a difference in the lives of people with disabilities.